Welcome again to the Shooting USA YouTube channel. We're glad you're here. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing. It really does help with the algorithm. And click the bell icon. That way you'll get notifications every time we post new content. If you're interested in full length current Shooting USA shows, there's a link to our Vimeo channel in this video's description. A few dollars a month gets you unlimited streaming of over 60 full length episodes. Also remember to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. So now, here's what you came to see. The idea it just came to me in a revelation. Skipping a round ball across water and hitting a target on the other side. Someone was talking about it someplace that I was and said, wonder if it could be done. And then someone told me it could be done. So I said, well, let's try it. Another shot across water, but with a much smaller target. George has already done this once. I did this shot with a 45 caliber flintlock rifle, also made by Charlie Wallingford. It was a 100-yard shot, and we shot a balloon. That was then. Today is a new day and a new idea. Another shot across water, but with a much smaller target. The target is on the end of the wooden stick, an Ace of Hearts playing card, only three and a half inches tall and two and a half inches wide. The target is smaller, and so is the gun. I have a Charlie Wallingford 45 caliber pistol that he kind of threw together for me. It has an Ed Rail barrel and a Siler flintlock curly maple stock. I have to give Charlie credit, he makes a great gun. How difficult is this shot, really? Well, first of all, ask yourself if you can hit a playing card at 75 yards. That's the first difficult part. And the second difficult part is shoot at a reflection in the water and try to skip the bullet up at that angle and hit the playing card. What do you have to do to pull this shot off? Well, you want to get as close to the water as you can. For the first, uh, the first thing you need to do is get down close to the water. George is aiming at the card's reflection in the water. If he hits the reflection, the round ball will bounce up and hit the card. Now, I would think that the ball would just dive into the water. It doesn't dive for, because you're down close to the water. It's like it's like skipping a rock across the water. Geometry says it should hit the card. But this works best when the water is still, not what we have today. Calmness of the water makes a huge difference. If you can, if the water is calm, dead flat calm, you can see the reflection of the playing card perfectly in the water. Drop, didn't it? Did it just go straight down into the water? No, it's, it'll skip. It, every sh shot you shoot, it's gonna skip. That one was over it. The wind creates the ripples blurring George's vision. See, now I lost the card in the water. The question is, do we wait for better conditions? No, you can't, you can't do that or you'll be here forever. You guys ready? Attempt number three. You see where it hit? We think we need more attempts. It's coming out of the water though. But cameraman Chris sees it. You gonna go check it out? And I'll confirm it. Perfect. It. All right. And there it is. Another playing card shot on impossible shots. <laughs> A nice shot. Wow. Ho, ho, baby. <laughs> Look at that. That was awesome. How oh, that, man? Nice. Three shots. It'll, you got this on the third shot. Mm-hmm. That's, that's incredible. How far is that? Uh, that's a good 75 yards, because I'm half-winded from getting the stick, so. That was incredible. I want to know how proud you are of this shot. I'm very proud of this shot. I think I'll hang that one on the refrigerator.
Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you're interested in full length current episodes of Shooting USA, there's a link in the video description to our Vimeo channel. A couple bucks a month gets you access to more than 60 episodes and premieres are added the morning after they debut on Outdoor Channel.